regardless of whatever experience you've been having lately, I feel like it's been a very strong one. There have been a lot of deep and strong challenges for you here, but you're overcoming them. What I'm getting with the Hierophant and the Ace of Swords is there is an energy of you seeing clearly what the lessons have been in your life up until this point and getting it, okay? And finally getting it. In some cases, that's what I'm hearing. Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. So this is going to be your general energy reading for your moment. Yes, please keep in mind, this is a general reading. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. This is not sign based um, and we could be talking about anything, yes. Now also keep in mind that this is a pretty fairly timeless reading, yeah. Now it may be connected to some of the astrology that may be going on today. However, in this session, <clears throat> we're just going to be talking about energies. This is just a general energy reading for the collective. So regardless as to whatever is happening astrologically today um, or any given day, in terms of morning coffee, it's just the energy and whatever messages spirit has for the collective at this moment, yeah? If you would like to get in on what's going on with the astrology at any, on every, any given day, I highly recommend that you do check out my Daily Dose series, which after this week is looking like it's going to be moving over to Patreon, yes? In either the uh, uh, Inner Balance package or the full Monty. But for now, just get familiar with it, and if you're vibing with it, check us out, join us over on Patreon, because I actually am really loving doing it, and it's helping me put a lot into perspective for me on a day-to-day -day basis, so. Anyway, in terms of this reading, this is just a general energy reading, right? So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. This could resonate with you at any time. Keep in mind that if you're in dealing with like these types of readings, these general energy readings, focus more on the title than the date because the title is going to give you information or a feeling as to whether or not the reading is going to resonate for you. Yes? Alrighty, kids. Let's get into... Let's just get into the energies <clears throat> for the moment and see what we've got for the collective. Here we go. Holy Spirit, please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please give us clear and accurate representation of the energies in terms of the situations, situationships, relationships, romances, places, and circumstances in which we all need it the most. Thank you so very much, Spirit. <clears throat> All right, guys, five shuffles here. One. General energies for the collective at this time. This is two. This is three. Four. Alright y'all, what's going on for the collective today, please? Spirit, what messages do we have for the collective? What messages do we have for the collective? That's enough. Okay. Oh boy! Alright, I do feel like a graduation is at hand. We have the High Priestess at the bottom of the deck. Already this is kind of connected, or I'm definitely feeling like this is connected to what came through in the Daily Dose. So if you are uh, interested in checking out a, a, a the Daily Dose and under, or if, you know hearing an interpretation of what could be happening energetically because of the movement of the planets, check out the Daily Dose, okay? Um, 
But what I want to say here is there is so it feels like there's some sort of graduation that's happening. You have the counterparts here between the high priestess at the bottom of the deck and the hierophant. Okay, and I feel like uh, with the hierophant here, you do have the ace of swords. So um, the hierophant represents uh, <clears throat> can represent higher learning. I'm hearing teaching of values, uh, regardless of whatever. Uh, experience you've been having lately I feel like it's been a very strong one there have been a lot of deep and strong challenges for you here but you're overcoming them what I'm getting with the Hierophant and the Ace of Swords is there is an energy of you seeing clearly what the lessons have been in your life up until this point and getting it okay and finally getting it in some cases that's what I'm hearing okay Beautiful. Okay. Um, now, with that said, we have the high, the, the hierophant, or in this case, and this is the witch's tarot, we have the high priest, and then we have the high priestess. But I feel like you're moving forward from this lesson of the hierophant, or from these deep, strong challenges of the hierophant, to a higher awareness. But you have this with the empress, okay? So, um... And the Empress did fall out face down. And what I'm getting from the Empress is an energy of fertility, unconditional love, happiness, and growth. I'm seeing the Empress as the earth that you plant the seed into, and that seed is then nurtured into life. This is going to take time, but you have the support on your side. All of the cards that have come out here so far are major arcana, except for the Ace of Swords, okay? Now, you have two other cards that have come out here. One of them did fall face down. The card that came out face up is the star, all right? Wish fulfillment, moving towards happiness. <coughs> I did just hear fulfillment of career, okay? If you're in a position to change your career, start a new job, or some sort of new career status, you're on your way there. What else? What also came out with the star was temperance, but temperance fell face down. So what I'm feeling for this, for the collective, or at least just for whomever this message is for, whomever this is resonating for, you are you need to keep the faith. And I do kind of feel like you are keeping the faith with the star. You don't really know how things are going to happen. And of course, you may have some moments where you slip up here and there and you like fall into despair, blah, blah, blah. But as long as you can pull yourself back up out of that, you should be okay. Now, the other energy that is on your side here is, in fact, temperance. But temperance fell out face down. Patience. Patience, you guys. And that's kind of what the high priestess is saying as well. Temperance here is representing the fact that the universe is working on things on your behalf behind the scenes, okay? You just can't see it. And that's why from a conscious point of view, you're here in the star energy right now where you are, I, I mean, I did just hear blind faith, but I, but, but the, but that was a translation for lack of a better term, okay? This is not strictly blind faith. You are moving forward in a specific direction you know what it is that you're after, or at least you have a strong idea of what it is that you're after. You just don't see it coming together just yet. You don't know how it's going to work out. And those are the energies of the star. Like the star is about healing and it's about wish fulfillment, but it's also about faith. It's also about following the guidance of your intuition, your higher self, the universe, God, source, creator, your angels, your guides, your ancestors, whomever you really connect with the most following through with that and letting the universe do the heavy lifting on your behalf, letting the universe support you, letting the universe bring things together for you behind the surface. And that's why you need to be as patient as possible with this circumstance. Now, the last thing that I want to say here, getting to the energies at the bottom of the deck, you do have the high priestess, which is kind of mirroring. This uh, is mirroring and yet I'm hearing is supporting. I don't know how exactly but that's the mystery of the high priestess, right? It's supporting this energy of you moving forward towards your dreams, towards your goals, towards your desires. 
I, again, with the Hierophant and the High Priestess here, these are counterparts. The Hierophant is the masculine version. The high, the high Priestess is the feminine version. The Hierophant represents the physical world and institutions within the physical world and um, higher learning and tough challenges. You can often see the Hierophant as like a Saturnian energy. And then you have the High Priestess, which could actually, since we're talking kind of a counterpart energy here, the High Priestess can represent almost Jupiter type energies of luck, of expansion, of growth, um, uh, of abundance and support and, and all that good stuff, uh, positivity and all that. However, what I'm really getting from the High Priestess right now is we are in a, a veiled realm of existence at the, well, that's true, but like just this energy that I'm picking up on, it feels, it's veiled. It's like, you don't exactly know what's happening. You've, you've passed the test. Yes, you've moved on, but you've moved on to a new level where now you're dealing with um, higher energies. You're dealing with a little more of a, a chaotic situation, although it seems chaotic in your conscious mind. However, there's just a veil of secrecy or not exactly knowing what's going to happen or how things are going to come together, but you are moving forward, okay? Underneath the High Priestess at the bottom of the deck is the Six of Swords. And you continue to move forward. You continue to facilitate this energy of moving forward. You continue to work with this and allow yourself to move forward by continuing to let go. And what helps you let go of things is your change in perspective. Four of Pentacles to the Hanged Man, then the Hanged Man to the Wheel of Fortune, okay? There is great change. Wow, great change is happening on a, ma on a massive soul basis. I need to stop going so deep into the deck. And they're saying, let things come out naturally. <sighs> Jinx wants to come back inside again. Hold on a second. <sighs> in and out, in and out. I need a, I need, I, I mean, I guess I could think about putting like a cat door in, but like, no, because then all kinds of other cats and animals are going to come in the house and like, I have metal doors, so that's just no thanks. Okay, anyway, <laughs> let's move forward here. I want to get another pull for the collective. So um, what does this mean moving forward is the next question that's coming to my mind. Okay, so what does this mean moving forward here for the collective? Perfect. Perfect. Oh my God, yes. Keep them coming. What does this mean for the collective moving forward, please, spirit? Okay. An ending of burdens, an ending of strife. A lot of cards have come out here, but overall energy though, at the bottom of the deck, you do have the six of wands. So this is a victory. This is a personal victory. And this is absolutely a victory. I want to, because I want to show you this. Remember, in the beginning of the reading, we had the ace of swords and it was, it was connected to the hierophant. And what I was getting from that was, it's like they're finally you're finally getting the lesson. The lesson is finally sinking in. You're finally understanding. And I don't want that, I don't want the word finally to discourage you. This is not a race, okay? Uh, but finally is an important word here because it feels like we may have been, for, at least for some of us, we may have been struggling with these cycles for shit, lifetimes I'm hearing for some of us even, all right? We could, we really could be in a process of breaking through, breaking through some serious generational curses, if you want to call it a curse, or generational <clears throat> hindrances, bonds, bindings, uh, entrapment, anything like that. Ancestral binds or ancestral karma or whatever, okay? Now, the Ace of Swords here is representing the victory, 100%, okay? Victory but it's also representing truth, knowledge, awareness, and understanding. It's the light bulb, it's the aha moment. It's the, it's the receiving of the information that you need to cut through, to cut through the burdens and end the hard situations. I did also just hear that this was a hard won battle, okay? total victory here for us. This is what this means moving forward for the collective in terms of, or for whomever is resonating with this reading, okay? Now, we have four other cards here. I believe two of them are reversed and they all fell face down. No, only one of them is reversed. This is beautiful. 
This is really beautiful. So this is, uh, okay. So you have the two of swords here. This has come out in reverse. And it's connected with the seven of cups, the eight of swords, and justice. Okay. So why are you reaching this victory here? Again, you guys, this really, I'm, I'm picking up on this. It's coming through. So I wanna, again, so I want to say it. You really could be, this really could be connected to what's happening astrologically for us right now. So if you're resonating with this reading, I highly recommend that you check out the Daily Dose for June 14th, for Monday, June 14th of 2021, okay? But why are we reaching this victory here? Because illusions are being broken open. Two of Swords in Reverse is talking about no longer being indecisive. If you find yourself be feeling indecisive, oh, here we go. Jinx wants to go back outside again. Good God. Anyway, if you've been finding yourself to be indecisive or unable to make a decision because you couldn't see clearly because you were wrapped up in the mental entrapment, mental imprisonment, your victory happens because you finally reach the clarity, because you finally learn the understand the, the learn the lesson, you finally gain the understanding, you finally have the aha moment, this ace of swords that effectively cuts you free. The thing about the eight of swords here is yes, she's bound, sure, but in, to be quite honest, of course she may risk, you know, uh, 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 a mere flesh wound, Hopefully it's only a mere flesh wound, but she could cut herself out of these ropes by using any one of those swords. But it feels like you are gaining the sword of wisdom, knowledge, truth, and understanding that helps to cut you free from the imprisonment, helps to release you from the sense of illusions and fears, and helps to remove, to get you out of this indecisive energy. And thus, justice is able to be served in your life. The scales are able to be balanced. You are able to finally be in the position to, re to receive the justice that you need and deserve, okay? That right there is your victory and why this victory is coming into play for you, okay? So work with these energies as much as you can. This is a beautiful process I am hearing, but it's definitely a process of uncertainty. <laughs> That's for damn sure. All right. But with that, I did just hear, but you just have to trust the universe's guidance here. It's always guiding you in the right direction if you allow it to. Okay. Okay, let's um let's go a little bit deeper and let's clarify some things. So, we're going to start with the first section, which is the lesson having been learned the fertility that's around you, the unconditional love that's around you, the abundance that's around you, and moving forward here towards the healing, towards the wish, for, wish fulfillment and greater balance. I wanna use the Wonderland deck here. So we're gonna give this five shuffles, yeah? One. Two. Three. Four. And five. All right. So, clarity, please. Spirit, the Empress, Ace of Swords, the High Priest, the Star, and Temperance. What clarity can you bring us in terms of this, please, Spirit? whole deck reversed no not the whole deck just a few cards okay uh well we have the hierophant again as overall energy so what this and it's interesting because when the first card out when the first card came out i i, I understood what they were saying and then the hierophant coming out in the as the overall energy here only confirmed that for me but in terms of the lessons that you've been learning in, in this situation, 
This is directly related to the fact that there was an, a sense of imbalance in your life, two of pentacles in reverse, that stemmed from um, a lack of good foundation within yourself. A lack of good foundation with your, within your soul, within your spirit, okay? Um, and that, to me, <clears throat> four of wands in reverse, that is speaking to things like social conditioning, um, familial conditioning, conditioning that may have come from, you know, obviously your family or growing up as a kid, what may have happened to you as a kid uh, growing up, any sort of negative experiences that you had, a false perception of yourself. A false perception of who you are and what it is you're truly capable of. A false perception in terms, in some cases, in terms of even what it is you want to be doing in life, right? You have one more card that came out here and it's upright and it's the Knight, Knight of Pentacles, okay? So to me, this is reassurance that you have been successfully, consistently moving forward with this lesson with this experience with this cycle and it does and, and and with the knight of pentacles here i am feeling like you are ready to move forward why well first of all the knight of pentacles can represent procrastination and stagnation when he's negatively aspected but also the knight of pentacles kind of gets a bad reputation because he is so slow moving he's the slowest moving knight in the deck but the positive aspect of that is the fact that he's methodical. The fact that he's not trying to move on to the next steps. Yes, Jinx, how may I help you? Oh, see, now she, I told you she wants to go back outside now. Anyway, the Knight of Pentacles is not willing to move forward to the next step or the next part of the process until he has sufficiently completed what the, the challenge or the, the process that he has in front of him at the moment. And then in this case, for you here, with the Four of Wands in reverse and the Two of Wands, uh, Two of Pentacles in reverse, Four of Wands representing a false sense of self, I'll say that, uh, or a lack of solid or sturdy foundation within yourself, within your sense of self, within your sense of spiritual connection even, which was then translating into an imbalance in your physical life. Four of Wands in reverse, Two of Pentacles in reverse. The lesson here for you, the Hierophant, has been moving forward with this methodically and starting to understand that. And now I do feel like you've come to a sufficient understanding. And so that's why I feel like the Knight of Pentacles here is representing the, the green light to move on to the next thing. Before I even go to the next pile, I want to clarify the Knight of Pentacles a little bit more. Can you clarify the Knight of Pentacles a little bit more, please, Spirit? Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. You do have the Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck. This is representing self-sabotaging in a situations, lose-lose circumstances, stuff like that. Well, the one card that's come out here to, uh, to clarify the Knight of Pentacles, or just maybe even further the message of the Knight of Pentacles, give you a reason or an answer as to why the Knight of Pentacles is representing the green light to move on to the next stage of this process temperance. You found that balance. You have sufficiently come to a level of balance that is giving you the green light to move forward. Even if you don't necessarily feel like you have that balance or you don't necessarily understand why on a conscious level, this is the green light from your soul, from the universe, from your higher self, God, source, creator, the angels, uh, guides, ancestors, whatever, whomever you connect with. This is the green light to move on to the next stage to the next step in the process because you have sufficiently found the balance and the integration that was necessary in the current stage okay excellent let's move forward here the next step in the process we have the ten of swords the ten of wands so this is what um, is next in terms for the collective in terms of that the ending of the burdens the ending of the hard situation you have the two of swords in reverse with the seven of cups the eight of swords but then justice the clarity that's coming through being able to be decisive or at least having a sense of direction knowing what it is you need to move forward towards or move forward with with the two of swords in reverse and victory here with the six of wands yeah what clarity do you, we can you bring us Please, Spirit, in terms of what's next in the process for us.
Jinx, stop. You're gonna have to wait, I'm busy. She's over there scratching at the door like she's like in some, uh, sorry, I digress. Um, let's see, what's next in the process here? Don't let boredom defeat you. Don't let a sense of apathy stop you. Stand your ground. You do have the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is crossing all of these energies here. That was the first card that came out. There is, <clears throat> there seems to be a little bit of a lack of motivation. I am feeling like for some of you here, um, it's almost as if this process or whatever it is you were learning in the process of dealing with the Hierophant energies, whatever that represents for you in your life, there seems to be a level of apathy here. Why should I move forward with this? For some of you, your dreams have your dreams and your goals or everything that you stood for or everything that you thought you were has completely been abolished. And there's this sense of not wanting to move forward. Okay? But but this is only a potentiality. With this came out crossed, it's really more of just a warning than a state of reality. Okay, do not let apathy stand in your way. For some of you, you may have been in such a, a stagnant place for a while that it feels like you kind of may have settled into a sense of apathy or boredom or just like not really trying to move forward with it. But don't let that stop you now. Okay, it's time to move forward. You have judgment, which is the weight, which is the call, the call to move forward here. You have the Knight of Swords. Okay, so judgment with the Knight of Swords is asking you to press forward. Why? Because you have received the change in perspective. You have the hanged man with the magician. Okay, you have, cha you have the change in perspective that you have needed. You've been stuck and stagnant long enough, the hanged man. And now you are ready to start manifesting the truth of your reality or the truth of what you seek or what it is you truly desire here. The magician, okay? Judgment with the Knight of Pentacles, uh, I'm sorry, the Knight of Swords is asking you to start charging forward now. It's time to get moving. It's time to fight the good fight. It's time to fight back. It's time to fight for what you believe in. It's time to fight for what you understand, this new understanding that you've come to, up to yourself or of your reality. It's time to start moving forward, okay? Keep charging forward. Don't look back. Okay. Let's get your closing oracle guidance here. And I want to get that from the Crystal Mandala deck today. Yale? Yale. Okay. Cute. Five shuffles here. One. Two. four and five all righty y'all closing oracle guidance for today's reading there it is right there Hmm. Card number 32, Ascended Master Buddha and Peridot, Wild Compassion. 32 boils down to a five, guys. Change. And I've been seeing 555 five, five a lot lately, over the last month or so. It's been like, it's been showing up so much that it's kind of scaring me a little bit, but stay grounded. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> we bring you the blessing of wild compassion. What if a restriction now could prepare you to receive greater freedom in the not too distant future and to be able to appreciate, enjoy, and fully receive that freedom? What if growing pains now would strengthen you to be ready to receive a life-changing opportunity headed your way? What if, the, what if rest and time to just be at this moment would help you build up your reserves of vital energy for a time in the future when you will be asked to step up, perhaps to lead, or use your energy in some way to support many? Wild compassion is at work in your life, 
and you can trust that it knows what you need and when and will deliver it with unsurpassed grace. Um, I think, yeah, let's leave it there. Oh, actually, okay, I want to read this one paragraph. Uh, the best way to respond to wild compassion is to allow yourself to be wild too. That means not being afraid to let go of the script of your life, to think on your feet, or even better, to let your instincts move your feet and not think so much at all, to let yourself intuitively respond to life as though you were in a dance together rather than in a boxing match. You don't have to duck and weave to avoid what life sends your way. You can play, engage, be curious, sometimes feel pain, but always understand that the pain, because sometimes pain is unavoidable, is an unavoidable part of life, is part of the healing the divine is sending your way. It is not out of cruelty. Sometimes the pain of letting, go, of letting something go now saves you from the agony of having what is not meant for you, causing you far greater suffering over the long term. Excellent. We're going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I love you all so very much. I hope you have a fantastic day. And I look forward to our next, having our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye. <laughs>